Dr. Perry. We're here from Eastside to ask you 73 questions about who you are and what we do. 73 questions? Wow, you better come on in. <laughs> First of all, how are you today? Today I'm doing very well, thank you for asking. I'm very well. What's your favorite time of day? My favorite time of day, I would say, is the morning time, as ushering all the new students in and welcoming as they come into school. Today. What are three words to describe your week so far? Three words to describe my week so far, I guess, would be uh, excited, optimistic, and fun-filled. What's the biggest learning experience you've had? That all of us, as we get older, can continue to learn. What's a cause that's important to you? Education. Education is certainly uh, important and education for all students is important to me. When are you most inspired? I am most inspired when I sit inside a classroom and I get to see students learning. Sweet or savory? Well, I'm diabetic, so I better not say sweet. I'm gonna have to go with savory. What's a song you can listen to forever? I could listen to any song by Billy Joel all the time. What are three things you can't live without? I can't live without my family. I can't live without coming to East each day. Uh, and I can't live without water. Gotta stay hydrated. Interesting. What are you excited about right now? I'm excited for the, uh, the winter break. It's an opportunity to spend time with some extended family that I don't often get to see. I have to agree with that one. What is the favorite class you took your favorite class you took in high school? Uh, I, I was a math teacher, but I uh, really enjoyed in high school my history classes. Cool. How long have you been in the education field? This is my 31st year in education. What is one thing that makes East different from other schools? I would say that uh, its size, like everything here at East is to scale. Mm -hmm. uh, so certainly the size of East. Mm -hmm. Who would you say is your style icon? style icon I, I don't know if i actually have a style I would, I would guess anyone that typically wears blue shirts with their ties cool how many different ties do you own how many different i'm sorry ties ties i probably have about 50 different ties what is one food you can't live without i cannot live without beefaroni i love beefaroni <laughs> what is your least favorite food uh fish i'm not a big fan of fish is a hot dog a sandwich? Hot dog is not a sandwich, but hot dogs are delicious. I agree with that. What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie would have to be Infinity Wars. Me too. <laughs> iPhone or Android? iPhone. Who should everyone be following right now? Uh, I would say whoever made the most recent new Spider-Man movie. I'm sure that uh, he's got he or she's got interesting things to say on Twitter. <laughs> What's your favorite season? Favorite season is the fall. Rain or snow? Uh, snow, I'm not a big fan of the rain, but I don't like snow much either, but I guess of the two, snow. What's your biggest fear? My biggest fear uh, would be having to retire for health reasons, which fortunately I'm hoping that's not gonna be the case. What's your favorite animal? Dog. Cool. Uh, what's a song you have on repeat? Uh, a song I have on repeat? I, I actually have, uh, as I mentioned earlier, Billy Joel songs just constantly going through. Big fan. What's a secret talent you have? Secret talent? I play uh, trumpet. I don't know if uh, folks are aware of that, but I'm a trumpet player. What's the story behind this vestibule? So the vestibule was built as part of security measures. Uh, it was done at each of the schools in, in Cherry Hill. What's your favorite phone app? My favorite phone app is called, that's uh, a game I play. I gotta double check real quick. I'm not really sure what it's called. I think it's called Homescapes. It's a, it's a game on my phone, Homescapes. Cool. What's your favorite part of the school? Favorite part of the school, I, I enjoy uh, heading down to the gyms and to the D-Wing. What advice would you give your high school self? Uh, I would say that uh, nothing, no singular event is all that defining, that you can learn and grow from every experience you have, whether you are successful or if you fail. On the other hand, what is the best piece of advice you have ever received? Best piece of advice I, I ever received was just to you know believe in myself and be kind to of others. What's your favorite professional sports team? Philadelphia Eagles. Favorite thing to do on a day off? 
Uh, I actually en enjoy reading books, uh, watching movies, and playing uh, some video games. What's one word to describe Gen Z? Gen Z, I would say that they are uh, eternally optimistic. What's your favorite time of the day? Favorite time of the day is the morning. What makes you smile the most? Makes me smile the most coming in, in the morning, and, and seeing all the students as they enter the school. What's the best school lunch? Best school lunch, uh, I would say that if you take a chicken patty and you put some Italian dressing on it, I think that is probably the best school lunch. Very interesting combination. Thank you. If you could take one class at East right now, what class would you take? Uh, I think I would, I would like to take uh, the film appreciation class. What's the last book you read? The last book I read was called The Teenage Brain. I shared that uh, in my office with you. Uh, what's your biggest weakness? My biggest weakness, I would say uh, cardiovascular stuff. I've never been able to run very far. What's your biggest strength? Uh, my biggest strength, I would say, is um, getting along with people. What's your favorite memory from high school? My favorite memory from high school had everything to do with my experience in marching band. What's your favorite dance move? Uh, I don't know, maybe you can teach me how to doggy. <laughs> What would be the name of your autobiography? Uh, name of my autobiography would, would be uh, Always Learning. What's a superpower you would want right now? I'd love to fly. <laughs> Vintage or new? I like new. What's your spirit animal? Spirit animal would have to be a uh, wolf. Just being able to travel around and experience different uh, parts of the forest. You are stuck in an island right now, and you can only pick one food to eat forever without getting tired of it. What would you eat? It would be beefaroni, and I actually did that. I used to live by myself down in North Carolina, and I ate it like every day for lunch and dinner. <laughs> wow. What's the priciest thing you've ever splurged on? Uh, my doctoral degree from Penn. What's one thing people would be surprised to know about you? Uh, I think that most people would be surprised to know that I, that I enjoy playing video games. If you're on a plane, what do you prefer, the window or the aisle seat? Window. What are your biggest pet peeves? Um, that's a great question. Some some occur while I'm driving, I guess, uh, <laughs> and you know some of the things that other folks do. Uh, but I'm really not all that bothered by much, to be honest with you. What makes you feel accomplished? Uh, I, I feel accomplished at the at, at the end of each day here at East if I've had opportunity to spend some time with students. How do you like to start your day? Uh, I start my day, I have the same thing for breakfast pretty much every day. I have like eggs and, and uh, toast each morning for, for breakfast and uh, review the news online uh, and then uh, drive in and listen to uh, like sports talk radio on the way into work. What's one thing you've always wanted to try but have been too scared to do? Skydiving. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> what is a talent you wish you had? I wish I could play the piano or guitar, either one of those. What's your favorite music genre? Uh, I would say that it's like uh, soft rock country in that range. What about your favorite music artist? Uh, Billy Joel, definitely my favorite. What celebrity would you want to be friends with? Um, I'd, like to, I'd like to be friends with Mike Schmidt. He was a Phillies player. What is an important life lesson for people that people have to learn? I would say, uh, and I mentioned this a little bit earlier, that that understanding that as we go through high school, we have different exams, different classes, different uh, opportunities that come up, and, and no singular event is all that defining, right? That we are a combination of lots of things, and so not, not to put too much stock in any one test, one grade, one class. What's your favorite board game? Favorite board game is Catan, and we're starting a Catan club here at East in January. Make sure to check that out for everyone watching. Please. Um, what's one thing that you most regret? Uh, most, uh, most regret, I think I actually, um, I guess my biggest regret would from, uh, would be back from high school, right? Like I had, I had opportunities to learn how to play. I played trumpet, as I mentioned, I, and I had opportunities to learn other instruments and I was just too preoccupied with other things. Uh, and so I wish I had learned how to play piano then and guitar back then. What do you do to relax? Uh, I like to, you know, watch Netflix. I like to watch movies. I like to read. Uh, I really enjoy reading, and I like to play uh, a video game called Civilization. 
How do you manage your stress? Same, reading, <laughs> uh, spending time with my family, uh, and you know, relaxing, playing a playing a, a mindless video game. What do you wish people understood more about your job? Uh, I wish people understood that uh, as much as we want to, uh, you know, say yes to everything, uh, that there are there are constraints and parameters that we have to have to work within, um, and that always we're trying to think of and make decisions that for are for the best of the school and the students in the school. Comedy or horror? Comedy. How has the year been so far? It's been a great year. It's been great to have everyone back in the in the building. Uh, well, we're wearing masks, but other than that, it's been a pretty normal year, and that's been fantastic. What do you think about changing school start times? I love the idea of changing the school start time. <laughs> Cats or dogs? Dogs. Texting or calling? I'm sorry? Texting or calling? Uh, texting, actually. What is your dream vacation? Dream vacation would be to go to any island where there's a beach. What's your favorite thing about being principal? Uh, I enjoy being able to spend my day with young people in high school. I mean, if you work in a high school, uh, keep, it keeps you young. It, it, you know, it's a great place to spend every day uh, and see the excitement and the talent and the, the genius of our students. Any, what's your, oh, sorry. Is there <laughs> anything else you would like to add or tell us about? I just want to thank you so much for doing this. I hope that it is uh, successful. I hope that I was able to answer all of your questions. You definitely were. Thank you so much and have a great day. Thank you. You as well.